Uh huh, it's Dirty Boys Radio on your Hot 1041, St. Louis source for hip hop and RB. Your Dirty Boy A plus in the state right now, St. Louis, Illside, St. Charles. I'm gonna put you on right now. If you're not already on, you sleeping, man. Let's go to the Ooh. West Coast one time. Take it to East Hollywood. Holler my partner, Marky e. Basie. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's my first uh, real radio interview as Marky e. Basie, so I appreciate it. St. Louis. That's dope, man. He just said that too before we started. So mm-hmm. that's like a moment and that's a, a a milestone. So thank you. We appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Well, yes, sir. East Hollywood is the EP. You're on the Winners Dark Out mm-hmm. Tour, man. Congratulations on all the success you have in rolling into 2016. Thank you. Man, talk about your grind. Of course, singer songwriter. So let everybody know that backstory to where you are right now, bro. Yeah, I was the doing The bridge version, my bad. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> Let me take you step by step from the beginning. <laughs> no, I've been uh, I've been writing songs for a long time. I was a uh, I was in a band that started out like that was signed, and I've been through all this like record industry craziness, yeah. and um, I kind of got spit out of it uh, like two years ago, and I started writing like you know uh, R and B pop top line they call it in LA okay. doing stuff yeah. for like Sean Kingston, and uh, I had like a few random like pop cuts and I did a CeeLo one and just random songs and then people started hearing my demos like a and and whatever and started being like who's who's singing on that one and I'd be like oh that's me that's they were all me I was singing my own so people started kind of getting interested in what I was doing and I started just throwing songs on SoundCloud and it uh, got a little traction and you know I've been I'm from the Bay Area yeah. and we're like a real tight knit community especially musically there so people started taking to it and it kind of started growing and kind of got embraced by like the Bay Area scene HBK mm-hmm. and Nick Knack and Bobby mm-hmm. Brackens and these are all like my friends and family so it kind of just took off from there and obviously like when I got uh, when I met G-Eazy we did like two or three songs together and that led to this tour so it's been a real natural progression and you know I couldn't have it any other way yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm a fan of the Bay music going back to when I first saw Sprinkle Me on Rap City. So, wow. Like, I there definitely, you, you know, not not fan. Like, I'm, I'm not a hip on all of it, but, you know, yeah. I know a lot of it. Like, I just, maybe about a few, of course, a year before he passed, but I got put on the Jacka. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? The Jacka's yeah. dope, too. Rest in peace. Of yeah, course. he's amazing. Of course. You know, we have uh, Neff's on the tour, too. He yeah. signed the E40. Sick with it. He got it. the big time and yeah, that sick big with time it records. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So, it's a lot of fun. We're all out here. And that just shows how different we can be. Like, I make weirdo soul rap music whatever you know it's different of course and then but me and Neff can be on the same tour and we're gonna have some music out uh, actually together too I'm doing a whole EP on the bus we got the lab set up so it's a it's a real diverse sound and I'm just glad to be a part of it honestly I mean, dog, just to be a part of this renaissance I got going with, of course, yeah. G-Eazy, um, I mean, Sue, P-Lo, yeah. Cool John, everybody been putting on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I don't even want to leave out no names, but k yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, actually, I was going to say, too, really, I should have mentioned that, I did a I did a joint with Kehlani, and, you know, she was nice enough to repost it when I put it out and everything, and this was a little before she became the Kehlani yeah. that everyone knows, mm-hmm. and I did a tour with her, too. So it's all, you know, the Bay has really been, like, helping me out and really been like the building blocks of my whole career thus far yeah now being on, on republic um the independent grind in the bay is so like thorough it's like long standing the grassroots movement is there like talk about the work you put in before you partnered up with republic i mean i don't or maybe I, the, the, the 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 uh the pros and cons of such. no yeah, yeah i i i love we live in a in a diy yeah. do it yourself you know, age. And so I like to, to me, the creativity that goes into music is not enough. You need to be creative in the way that you think about how people are going to see you. You market yourself the way, you know, like you see these, these kids out here, you see the way Neff grinds when he's, he put, you know, has a new vlog out every other day, has all this kind of content. And I just think that being an artist now is about, it's not just music. You know, a lot of people complain. I feel like, oh, like music, some, you know, rap is weak right now. But it's like, it's not just about music anymore. It's about everything you do. And I kind of view, uh, I view the label as like, that's like the bank, you know, and they have, they have good input and you have to learn how to work with them. But really, it's all on you. Everything from, you know, conceptually, how you're going to put yourself out there, the songs you write. So I really, uh, I value, you know, I value a major label for like what it can do for us and like fund us and get us on the road and all these opportunities that it affords me. But really, I'm all about doing everything myself, and that's really that's what's fun to me as well. So, you know, for it's sure. good. Yeah. What were some of the essentials growing up, man? Like you had to listen to. Well, 
I mean, it kind of is a weird blend of like Bay Area rap music. Tupac was my favorite of all time. I went to the same high school as him, so that wow. was kind of like a given. Had to be like that. And you know, we Tupac's from the Bay. If you're from the Bay, if you're from LA, then maybe he's from LA, <laughs> New York, Baltimore. No, man. A lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> yeah. claiming, but so it was him. And then weirdly, what I'm kind of noticing is like what my parents listen to is kind of what got into my music the most so it was like a lot of bay area rap that was me and then i liked like i liked r&b music i like genuine a lot black street like 90s r&b but then my mom was really on like tracy chapman mm. uh carol king yeah. like really dope yeah. like female voices so i was into that and then my dad was all he's from the south all soul music so like Everything from Sam Cooke to like 70s, my bad, uh, like funk, soul, Sly and the Family Stones, my favorite band what? of all time. They're from the Bay, too. Mm -hmm. That's um, my pop's favorite group, too. Really? Yeah. yeah you know the, the bass player? That's Drake, Drake's uncle, Larry yeah, Graham. Yeah, Larry Graham. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really, I was really into that. Uh, a lot of vocal groups, you know, f we were just talking about the Four Tops with our Uber driver. Uh, <laughs> but so, you know, I, I love old classic soul music, Donny yeah. Hathaway. Um, What's up? Yeah, man. I, yeah, yeah, I love I love all that. So, and then I like uh, I like like Queen and like classic rock shit too. You know, I'm yeah. a I'm a little older, so I've had a lot of time to listen to everything. So I've cool. I've tried to really you know nourish my uh, musical appetite as much as possible. But yeah, you got that this. was a really long answer. So <laughs> no, it's all good, bro. Yeah. It's all good. Man, we got Marquis Basie in here right now, St. Louis, the side 1041. Oh, your dirty boy A plus. You got your single out with Ty Dolla Sign, one of my favorite artists doing it right now. The dollar best. sign, man. Dollar sign, love <laughs> dollar sign, love. Yeah, he provided so many waves for the West, and I honestly think with him and YG and Mustard really put it on their back. As far as not just LA, but the West in general, really got yeah. that that light back on it. You know what I mean? They did Kendrick too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of, of course, course Kendrick too. Yeah. Yeah, they do. We talk about. I'm always like, oh, the Bay's killing LA. Da da da. Yeah. And then we all name them. I'm like, who LA got? And I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> fuck Ty, Kendrick, <laughs> YG. Uh, so it's uh, it's cool because really the Bay and LA, are, there's a lot of unity. We talk a lot about unity in my, uh, me and my friends. And, yeah. Um, it's a lot of that between uh, the Bay and LA and Ty. Uh, my roommate is Nick Knack. He produced of Loyal, a, bu a bunch of smashes, yeah. AO, Beat It. That's kind of who got me into the writing game. To like. So that kind of snowballed everything. And he uh, he worked on Loyal, you know. And uh, I mean, Ty worked on Loyal with yeah. him. So that's how I met Ty. And then we just kind of been, like, passing demos back and forth for a while. And he just, I sent that to him. And that was, I actually made That's Love for him. Okay. That's why you can kind of hear, like, my tone is a little lower. Yeah. And the whole beginning, I was like, oh, this would be perfect for Ty. I yeah. sent it to him. And he was like, you got to stay on that. But I gave you a verse, too. So it was all love. And. You know, that's how the, the title came to be, too, I guess. Yeah, Beach House, one of my favorite joints, like, far as R&B goes in the yeah. past five years. He's so. killing it. God. I love his album, too. His album's yeah, crazy. Free TC is hard. Yeah, Free TC is hard. 36 and 3 Warriors. Am I right on that record? Uh, 38 and 3. 38 and 3. We just we just lost the other night, too, on some fluke shit. Yeah, was, it was Denver. I was watching that game. That was I'm nasty. Like, yeah. yeah. But coming from the days of a Donald Foyle, who else? Um, Von Tigo Cummings. Von Tigo yeah. Cummings. <laughs> okay. Sharonis Marshall. <laughs> who else? Uh, Chris Gatlin. Gatlin, oh my yes. God. yes. I could keep going. Gee, I tell you, like, who is Chris Gatlin? Wait a minute. Uh, Sleepy Floyd was. Sleepy was Floyd was on the squad. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm named all like the everybody not run TMC. <laughs> exactly. E the whole even, gap. even just like. Gilbert Arenas and even just almost being good in 2007. The Diddy run B-Diddy. Yeah, yeah B-Diddy. Yeah. I just saw a good picture of throwback of B-Diddy on Instagram. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, been a long time coming. People, cats were crying. Grown men were crying. People were, there was champagne all over the walls, all over my house last year. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a special Lit. time. Now, are you, are you rocking right with, now. Are, you, are you a Raiders <laughs> or 49ers fan? I'm a 49er fan. Okay. Yeah, but honestly... I have to say that fantasy football is killing my fandom, like my personal, because all I do is look at my weak-ass fantasy team and then get mad. I was rooting against the 49ers this year <laughs> if we were playing. Whoever I had is my quarterback, yeah. so I'm going to have to get against fantasy football next year. Um, but besides the fact that the Niners has been a terrible downswing, what just happened, but we got a new coach. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. I don't know. 
So how am I doing in sports talk, guys? <laughs> we, am I we're doing out? good. We're doing good <laughs> right now, man. It's like sports talk radio right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Another question on the sports side: Would you care if the Raiders leave? You know, because we're kind of out of an NFL team right now. You know, the Rams are oh, back to LA. Yeah. You know? No, you know, uh, the Raiders can't leave. I would actually feel bad about that. Okay, that's there's a, like my uh, my roommates are from the East Bay. Okay, they love the Raiders. Like I, the Raiders fans. They're worldwide. Yeah. Raider just, Nation's everywhere. Raider Nation is everywhere. You can't take it from Oakland. They did that once. They brought it back. I don't know. I feel like that would be criminal. I would feel bad. There it is, man. There it is, man. Marky Basie's in the building right now. St. Louis is hot 1041. When it's dark out, tour G Easy, ASAP Ferg, and after Pharaoh's on here as well. It's an eclectic mix, but it's dope, though, man. You've been selling out all over the country. Everywhere. I mean, it's, it's an early. I know it's been early. I went to KC Mini. Where else have you been so far? That's really it, KC Mini. No, no, no. We went to where have we? Seattle, Portland, Denver. So that KC. whole West Coast run was we crazy. Did, yeah, we did the West. We were like in arenas. It's been really, for us, just coming from playing for a few hundred people on the West Coast, which is really all we've done. Um, you know, like G had like sold out, and the, the kids like people show up on time. <laughs> people were commenting yeah. about that, like they don't just wait till the end. So I've been playing in front of. You know, like a few packed out arenas, yeah. um, which is nuts. And uh, even like our guitar player, like this is his first tour ever, just stepping out, seeing all those people, it's crazy. So I don't know, it's a uh, it's a lot, um, but it's it's kind of a good way to like see where you're at too, to see if you can really fill up a room like that and see how the energy goes. But it's been going really good, so we'll just keep it going. There it is, man. East Hollywood is on iTunes right now as well. iTunes, Spotify, wherever. Yeah. You can always go. I'm always putting new shit on uh, SoundCloud. And I put, like, I'm going to start this thing, Basie Music Thursday, okay. next Thursday. So I put out a new joint. It could be... I have so many... Such a variation in the music I like to make. So it's going to be a lot more coming out. And then I'll have uh, my debut album on Republic will be out next year. That's called Groovy hey, People. Name, I had a song called Groovy People. I just feel like that kind of... I don't really like the like throwback hippie shit too, <laughs> too much. Like It gets really corny to me, but yeah. I really do like... And I think that we kind of live in a generation where we need more of a revolutionary spirit. And I feel like if it's done the right way that's what i would like to make and so groovy people is just kind of a a nod to all of that that's what it is marky basie mm -hmm. in the building st louis what's your social media bro m-a-r-c-e-b-a-s-s-y instagram twitter everything snapchat so yeah follow me I'm, I'm always uh i'm very communicative with all my fans everyone that hits me up for sure it's only right we get into this tie dollar sign go ahead and introduce Please, it bro let's do it this is Marky Basie featuring Ty Dolla Sign. That's love. There it is. It's Hot 104.1. Let's go. Appreciate you, bro. You too, man. Thank you.